Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing my December book haul. I am super excited to show you guys the books I've gotten this month. I got about 13 books and some of them were given to me as gifts from Christmas and my birthday and some I also purchased myself. So I'll let you guys know which is which when I go through them. But yeah, I'm just going to get started. Um, I don't know if I'm going to like really go into detail about what each book is about. But keeping that in mind, I'm just going to get started and show you guys the books I've picked up. The first one is The Duff by Cody Kuplinger. This was a really popular book in 2013 from what I know and it's a young adult novel. It looks really really cute and like something I'll be able to read like in an easy afternoon but so yeah I haven't read this one yet but it looks really good and it's definitely on my TBR for January. The next book I'm gonna show you guys I've gotten recommended to me over and over again but I've yet to pick it up so I decided to finally get it um, and that's Pushing the Limits by Katie McGrary. I know that she had a third book come in I think it's called Crash Into You that just came out so I really need to get caught up in the series everybody loves it everybody raves about it so I thought I would give it a try and yeah it looks really good it's been in my TBR list on Goodreads for like ever so I finally picked it up I'm excited to read next it. Next one I got actually for Christmas and this is This Is What Happy Looks Like by Jennifer E. Smith. I actually read um, The Statistical Probability of Love at First Sight by Jennifer E. Smith and I liked it. It was good so I decided to ask for this one for Christmas and I got it so that's kind of cool. I'm excited to read it. Who knows? I really like the cover art. It's really pretty. It's yellow. It's adorable. Another book that I got as a Christmas gift is Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. I have yet to read this book. Everybody raves about it, everybody loves it, but everybody says it's really sad, so I don't know. I'm like scared to read it, but um, I'm really excited about it anyway. I think it looks super duper cute. I just really can't wait to get into this story and yeah, it looks good. Another book that I got as a gift is Lola and the Boy Next Door by Stephanie Perkins. I already read this book and I absolutely adored it. I loved it so, so much. I've already read Anna and the French Kiss like a couple months ago and I just had never gotten my hands on a copy of this. So I was super happy to get it for Christmas and I absolutely loved it. I think I liked it better than Anna and the French Kiss. Lola was such a cute, quirky character and I could really relate to her and I just loved the book. So the next two books I have are actually the first two in a trilogy and that is The Crossfire. Um, series and I've got Bared to You which is the first one and Reflected in You which is the second one. I actually already read Bared to You. This was given to me from a friend and um, like for Christmas or something and I really really liked it so I decided to go pick up the second one Reflected in You by myself. I haven't gotten into this one yet but I'm super excited so yeah that's cool. Next book I have which I'm currently reading is Jet by Jay Cronover. Um, this is the second in the Marked Men um, series. Marked Men series yeah um, and it's pretty good so far it's going a little slow I'm on page uh, 100 so yeah I'm getting into this it's a little bit slow but I'm excited for it you know I really really liked rule so I'm excited to see where this book takes me. the next two books I'm so excited to show you guys and I'm just gonna show you um, it's hopeless and losing hope by Colleen Hoover oh my god these books are so good I love Colleen Hoover I read her slam series in November so I just had to get my hands on these books by her and I got hopeless um, in the beginning of December but I was kind of afraid to pick it up because it looks kind of like dreary like hopeless but I decided to pick it up I read it in one day oh my god I had to rush out and get losing hope like these books are so so good if you like the slam series if you like Colleen's writing try these like just read them they're so so good and you will not be disappointed okay next I have another gift that I got and that was walking disaster by Jamie McGuire um, I have read this book but I didn't own it in a physical copy so that was really a nice gift to get because I definitely want to reread it um, but yeah this is the like second or like companion novel to Beautiful Disaster by Jamie McGuire. It's just the same book in Travis's point of view, so I really, really like it. And yeah, I'm excited that now I have it for my book. This book I have is Unteachable by Leah Rader. Um, this was a really good book. I already read it, and I really like how the cover feels. It's really like soft, but um, this book was okay. I was um, kind of not as interested in the beginning of it, but as it went on, it got really good, and I got super attached to the characters in it, and I really liked it. So. That was, um, it was pretty good. I think I gave it four stars. Okay, it's like a girl. Pretty cool. And the last book that I have to show you guys is The Edge of Never by J.A. Redmersky. I loved this book so, so much. It was so good. I read it in one day, and it's almost 500 pages, so that just shows how good it was. I couldn't put this book down. I loved the character, loved Cameron, I loved Andrew, I just loved everything about this book. It was so good and definitely one of my favorites that I read in December. So if you haven't read this yet, pick it up. I know that the second book, The Edge of Always, is coming out this month, February, something like that. So I'm super excited to read that as well. So get this if you haven't yet. Okay guys, so those were all of my books that I picked up in December. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, concerns, or recommendations for me to read next month or 
anything about these books, if you've read them, or questions or anything, just leave that down below and I'll get back to you guys. So hope you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you all very, very soon. Bye!